the topic of the week is what do we think about 3D printing and Warhammer miniatures and the prospect of potentially 3D printing um, if it were cheaper and, and uh, easier to, to, to access would uh, have, what would be the impact on Warhammer and uh, these topics of the week, as usual, are through Vince Venturella, and I'll post uh, his video down below. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a can of worms. Um, you know, there's some legal cons uh, considerations. Um, in general, I don't really have much problem with GW uh, trying to protect its copyright. Um, but that type of technology wouldn't just affect uh, Games Workshop, so I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I guess you know how it affects other industries would also affect a uh, Games Workshop. And I, I don't think it's just as simple as scanning them and, and and making the product yourself. I'm not really sure how that would really work. In general, it doesn't really. Uh, I wouldn't say that the prospect sounds uh, that appealing to me. I'm not really sure why. Um, but I really can't um, can't really say too much more on like the the general issue. Now uh, the second question was if the technology was affordable, would I and I could print my own miniatures? Would I want to? And Probably not. Like miniature design is not something that I've ever really been that attracted to. Um, I personally don't do a lot of conversions. Uh, I like to buy an amass product. I'm would less of a gamer, more of someone that likes to to own as many unique miniatures as I can. And I'm not sure if the collectible side would be there like if I could just make it my own it wouldn't be really a model collection for me so I think I would kind of lose that 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 um, that, that level of impetus and I, I think you know the other question was if the technology was affordable and you could buy the schematics for miniatures, would you want to do that? I could see maybe like Games Workshop doing something like that where you buy like the, the model and then print it out on your own. But I think you, you know, I like putting the models together. Um, I would some ways limit those that do like to do conversions. Again, that's not something that I'm a huge fan of, but I know a lot of people are. Um, it's not something that you could just you know, hop on computer software and design these models yourself. There's a lot of, um, you know, I'm, I'm not that creative, so I'd probably come up with some pretty crappy model designs. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I think initially whatever I make would just be like a, a very plain. Um, and I, I, I'm not really sure if, if, if the, the skill level's there. I mean, anyone can make a computer program right now but a few of us do it and those that, that do it's a lot of time and effort I'm not really sure if it's that applicable that, that we would actually make and design our own miniatures in that sense it takes a lot a lot of create creative effort and to me they wouldn't be warmer miniatures which is what I which is what I like and what, what makes me really interested in it um, I think in general this type of technology will probably split the community even further um, between those that just like to, to play the game and those that uh, like the hobby side as well as the game. But like the preferential of what, what would you rather do with your models, I, th I think will be very much split down the mod, right down in, in a number of different categories, right? You're gonna get some people that uh, don't really care about, about what, how the models look necessarily or but just being able to use them in, in the game and that's that's nothing that really appeals to me personally I, I know a lot of people would like that but to me I, I think I, that wouldn't I wouldn't really like it so who knows how long of in the distance that this 3d printing will be 
easily uh, within most people's price range and the technology is at such to s advance to such a degree that, that you could print out really high detailed products. I would kind of throw it back and say w if you could print out uh, a model that was pre-painted in the same way that you you know print out with ink uh, you know paperwork today but if you could do a 3d cast and have it printed uh, and painted at the same time um, again I think some people would love that um, again I think that I, I think that would be horrible uh, I think that 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 negates the whole purpose of why I like like the hobby and it's kind of ironic because I have tons and tons and tons of unpainted uh, models I probably have the largest collection uh, of unpainted models um, and uh, but I always aspire to 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 do them and I don't if I just could snap my fingers and have them painted I probably wouldn't want to do it I, I really it's always been my plan to eventually do it um, and I'm working on them now painting up uh, my uh, wood elves for a the budget of Sigmar, and I love it. And you know, I think that's just it. It's more than just the gaming for me. It's more than just a model collection for me. It's it's something that I can really aspire to and work on and work towards. So it's a complicated question. I'm really interested to see what uh, other people are going to come up with. And uh, those are my thoughts on the topic of the week. Have a good one.